The first conference on scientific organization of labor was held in Russia in January 1921 to bring together experts in different fields around the study of the problems of human work. Lenin had proposed a competition to produce a manual for the scientific organization of labor following Platon Kurzhentsev publication of Sol. Kurzhentsev had outlined a three-fold approach. A subjective approach looking at the worker with a view to maximizing their efficiency. An objective approach focusing on the materials and tools used in the labor process. An integrative approach looking at how the first two approaches interrelate in a rational method of work organization. This conference was noted for a number of innovations. Input-output analysis. Ergology a forerunner of ergonomics. Topic. Contributions Vladimir Bekhterev was critical of Taylorism arguing that, "...the ultimate ideal of the labor problem is not in it, but is in such organization of the labor process that would yield a maximum of efficiency coupled with a minimum of health hazards, absence of fatigue and a guarantee of the sound health and all-round personal development of the working people." Alexander Bogdanov has been credited with first posing the input-output model at this conference. His The Organizational Principles of a Uniform Economic Plan describes how the outputs of one enterprise are the inputs to another enterprise. He pointed out that this then creates chains of production which are only as strong as their weakest link. A shortage in any one input will create a limit for the whole chain. Kurzhentsev was to criticize this in an article in Pravda in 1923. Vladimir Nikolaevich Myasishchev rejected Frederick Taylor's proposal to turn man into a machine. Dull monotonous work was a temporary necessity until a corresponding machine can be developed. <laughs> 